So here's the thing. It's not that easy where it's just like, hey, you hire a mentor and then everything's all gravy. It's not like that. You have to actually go find a good mentor. Yo, what is up, everybody? We are talking about mentors today. Before we go ahead and do that, please like this video and subscribe. First things first, I want to dive deep on my experiences with my mentors. Now, I literally have a mentor for like every aspect of my life. I have a real estate mentor, a business mentor, a spiritual mentor, like all the things. Pretty much, I see an aspect of my life that needs more help and more pouring into, and I go find somebody who is qualified to help me with that situation. I hire them to be my mentor, and that has helped me in all aspects of my life like crazy. So so let's talk about my journey in real estate, for example. You guys probably already know my story if you've been watching my videos. But for the first seven months of my business, I literally did zero deals. And in those seven months, I was dumping money in every single marketing channel. I actually hired some mentors that didn't work out. And I'll give you guys a reason why later on. But I was doing all the things for like seven months straight. And I just wasn't gaining any traction. I was getting leads coming in the door, right? But I just was not closing anything. And I ultimately almost ran myself out of business. I remember there was like two months left of expenses left in my operating account. And I was like, I got to figure something out. And then I see an ad of one of my mentors and I click on it and I go through the whole entire sales funnel and I end up in the mentorship. And I was literally right before I was going to get into that mentorship. I'm like, you know what? This is my last shot in the dark. This is either going to work or I'm going to quit real estate and I'm never going to do this business ever again in my life. And here's what happened. I get on a call and immediately the first day that I was in that mentorship, I start getting guidance. I get like an A to Z blueprint on what it is that I need to do. And I figure out all the things that I've been doing wrong. And then in the first three weeks, I end up getting my first deal. After I got my first deal, everything was just like a snowball effect. After that, I started doing multiple deals a month. I started doing multiple deals, multiple deals. And it was just like, great. But here's the thing. If I never hired that mentor, I probably would have quit real estate. And who knows what I would have been doing right now. You guys would not be listening to this video right now. I'll tell you that. So here's the thing. It's not that easy where it's just like, hey, you hire a mentor and then everything's all gravy. It's not like that. You have to actually go find a good mentor. By the way, This video was not created for you to want to join Blueprint. I want you to go join one of my homies' mentorships or one of my mentors' mentorships. Don't join mine. Join my other people's. If you need help, shoot me a DM. But I think it's important what we break down what a mentor really does. So here's what a mentor will do for you. The first thing is they'll give you an A to Z blueprint on exactly how to get the thing done that you want to get done. The second thing is they'll hold you accountable to get that thing done. And then the third thing, this is the most important. And this is actually something that most people don't really talk about is a good mentor will see the things that you might not see in yourself and they'll believe in you and they'll push you to go do that thing. And ultimately, you end up on the other end, a whole different person. So the goal is to find somebody who can do all three of those things. But like I said before, it's not that easy. You got to go find them and you got to go vet them. Let's discuss those three things really quick. The first thing is an A to Z blueprint. This is very simple. This is like they're going to tell you exactly what to do from start to finish, how to get a deal done, how to grow a wholesale business, how to go grow a portfolio, how to do a fix and flip. It's very simple. This is something that could literally be in a book. Usually these are like modules or PDFs or whatever. These are just like step by step. Hey, here's the thing. Here's what you do. It's very simple. But not a lot of people have the right blueprints. I told you guys in the first seven months, I did hire one mentor that didn't really work out. I got into the mentorship. They weren't even there. I was in there like, yo, where the heck is the guy that I saw in the videos? And all it was was a bunch of videos that didn't really teach me nothing. Now, it was partly my fault because I did not take all the action that I could have taken on it. And I definitely could have done more. But at the end of the day, the value was really not worth it. And I did a very poor job of analyzing and vetting that mentorship before I went ahead and joined it. So that's a mistake that you can learn from me. So you don't have to make it. So the second thing is them holding you accountable. So their job is to create an environment that you were held accountable. Now, this could be them personally calling you every day, making sure that you're doing the thing. This could be them hosting a Zoom for you every single week, making sure that you're going to those Zooms and holding you accountable to the things that they coach you on last week. Or this could be creating a community of people that are doing deals together that hold each other accountable or a combination of all the things. 
I like all the things, but you want to make sure that the mentor is holding you accountable or they're creating an environment that is going to hold you accountable. The third thing is my favorite. This is what not a lot of people talk about. And this actually takes a lot of talent. This is actually one thing that I really hold near to my heart that I use with with my internal team. So I think one of the biggest things a mentor could do for somebody is simply believe in them, but really truly believe and see what they don't see in themselves and be like, bro, this is literally what you can do. I've had mentors do that for me. There's points where I'd never thought that I would be at the position that I'm at right now, but it was my mentors that were like, no, 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 Mike, you literally can go do the thing. It's very simple. And I have faith in you. I trust you. Here's the thing. Here's the blueprint. Go. I'm pushing you to do it. You have to go do it. And I get put in these environments where I'm like, oh my gosh. I remember one time I was at a mastermind and out of the blue, I was not expecting this. I'm in a crowd with like probably 150 people. Out of the blue, my mentor is up on stage speaking. Out of the blue, homeboy calls me up on stage. Now, at this point in my career, I've never talked to a bunch of different investors on a big stage like that with cameras going and all the things. I haven't done that yet in my career at that point. So he called me up and I was crapping my pants. I was like, what the heck? But after that, the amount of fruit that came from that, the amount of relationships that came from that, the amount of deals that came from that, private lenders, it was insane. And he pushed me. He, If it was not for him literally calling my name, I had no other option. I was not going to just sit in my seat and say, nah, bro, I'm good. There's 150 people watching. I got to get up there. So when he called my name, I got up and I started talking. And ultimately, that led to opening so many doors. So it's really been my mentors just opening doors for me, allowing me to be the best version of myself and seeing that even when I didn't see it. So that's one of the biggest things that a mentor can do for you. So all this stuff is great. And if you are looking to hire a mentor, I would highly suggest you going to find somebody that does those three things. Now, all this stuff is great. And I highly recommend if you're going to hire a mentor to make sure that they do those three things. The best way to go find out if they do those three things is to go talk to people that are actually in their mentorships. Referrals for me, I like my number one source of how I pick my people and how I pick my vendors and my mentors and all the things. I need referrals. So if I'm picking a contractor, I'm going with a referral. If I'm picking a mentor, I'm going with a referral with somebody who knows that person. If I'm picking somebody to come clean my house, I'm going to pick somebody that is coming from a referral because I want somebody in my house that already has experience with somebody else who I trust. So I always go with a referral. So I would talk to somebody who has used that mentor before, but there are really five main things that you want to look out for when you're hiring a mentor. The first thing is, is that they're actually doing the thing that they're teaching. The second thing is, is that their morals and their ethics align with yours. The third thing is, is that they have a proven success rate. So you know people that have been in that mentorship that have had success. Referrals are the best way to go. And the fourth thing is, is are they actually interacting with their students or is it just a set of modules and you never actually see the guy? The fifth and my favorite thing is, is do they truly care about your success or do they just care about the money? So let's talk about the first thing. Are they actually doing the thing? Are they actually doing the thing that they're teaching? So if they have a wholesaling business, are they actively wholesaling or did they used to wholesale 10 years ago and now they're not and they just have a course? To me, I don't want the old guy. I want the guy doing the thing right now because things change. Nor do I want the guy who is lying to me saying that they're doing all these things and actually not doing the thing that they're teaching. So you want to figure out if they're actually doing deals or not. And the best way to find this out again is to actually ask people, get proof from other people. Yo, have you seen them do a deal with them before? Yo, have you done a deal with them before? Have you seen them doing deals? Just ask the people that are around that person and they'll tell you. Now, your morals and ethics, this is big for me. I really want to make sure that whoever I'm connecting myself with, whether it's a mentor, a friend, a vendor, I want to make sure that we're both on the same speed when it comes to ethics and morals. I want to make sure that we're both thinking in the same way. Because if not, then you could potentially be led down the wrong path. Let's think about this. Let's think about if your mentor, all they cared about was money. I'm not saying money is not important. But for me, that's not the top priority on my list. I want to make sure giving to people and caring about people and helping people out is at the top of my list. That's like one of my top moral and ethically things that I think about. Now, if I'm just following somebody who only cares about money, I'm going to be led down the wrong path. And then a year after that mentoring me, I'm going to realize I'm going to be like, damn, 
I lost my purpose. So it would be very detrimental if all of a sudden you're spending all this time and energy and money on a mentor and come to find out in a year, they end up leading you down the wrong path. And you're like, damn, I find myself only caring about money now and not people like I used to. So you want to avoid somebody who might not have the same morals and ethics as you do. And then number three, you want to make sure that they have some sort of proven success rate. Now, it's cool to have a proven success rate in a business, meaning if your mentor has success in wholesaling, like he's done 100 transactions or whatever, then yeah, that's cool. But ultimately, what I mean by success rate is I want to see people that are influenced by him doing deals as well. So not just the mentor. I want to see the people that he is currently mentoring doing well and doing deals. That shows that he actually has a really good program and he can lead somebody down the right path. So you want to make sure that the people that are in their current mentorship are actually doing deals as well and they're getting the thing done. And then the fourth thing is, is make sure that they're actually interacting with the students. Like I told you guys, in the first seven months when I hired that mentor, I was like, yo, this guy's good. I was watching his YouTube videos and I'm like, Damn, I can't wait to talk to this guy. And then I sign up for the mentorship. I just get a login and it's like two hours worth of videos. And I'm like, what the heck? Where's the guy? Like, I thought that we were supposed to have a call. I thought we were going to hop on a Zoom and I'd be able to ask him a question. Now, I'm not saying that your mentor is going to be super accessible and you're going to be able to call him on the, on a dime and you're always going to be able to be there and he's always going to be able to be there for you. But he needs to have at least some sort of interaction with the students so that the students actually get to know him and understand him. And then the last one, I don't think we really have to dive deep on this one. I think you could really tell just by watching somebody's videos and hearing about them of how much they truly care. Now, for me, I don't know about you but I want to surround myself with other people that really care. I've found myself in dangerous places sometimes where I care so, so much. And then I realize that the person that I'm dealing with or the person that I'm doing business with really does not care at all. And when I say care, I'm saying like care about other people and doing the right thing. And that's something that I don't think really takes you to do too, too much work. I think that's a gut feeling that you're going to have regardless. You know the guy or the gal that you're watching on YouTube and you're like, all these people really care about is money in themselves. They really do not care about other people. Stay away from those people. Hire people to be your mentor that truly, truly care. Like I said, this was not a push for you to be so excited about getting in the Blueprint Mentorship. Go join one of my other mentors' mentorships or one of my homies' mentorships. If you want access to something like that, shoot me a DM and we'll chop it up. I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace out.